It's Loot Crate, times two on a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive edition of the Middle-Aged Kit. And here we go. Hola, everybody. Are you ready? Let's do this. Got a very special video for you today. We are going to unbox the Comic-Con exclusive loot crates. There are two of them, uh, Creature and Cosmic. We'll start with Creature. Creature actually just went on sale, a limited run for people who didn't get to go to Comic-Con. I'm not that thrilled with that because it's supposed to be exclusive to the con. I know that, yeah, I'm sorry if that makes me an elitist, but again, I don't like when companies say something and do something different. Um, this one is 3468 out of 10,000, so there's only 10,000 made, so something tells me that uh, the Creature Box didn't sell out at Comic-Con. Didn't sell its full cache of 10,000. There's probably a few hundred left, which is why they're able to put them online, because it's still only 10,000 made. So I don't feel so bad about that, because 10,000 is 10,000, regardless of where, where it's sold. Um, but it did irritate me a little bit that to look online and find out that um, what I waited in line for, one of the things I waited in line for at Comic-Con, uh, went on sale to the general public later. So that's okay. Let's unbox it. I haven't seen these yet. I've gone to great lengths to avoid spoilers online. So let's zip this up and see what we got. All right. This is also, they've got kind of got a ghost, a co-sponsor with Games Radar. All right. To do. Well, from what I see, it looks like this creature box is has some Ghostbuster stuff in it. Um, but we'll start with the shirt. Very cool shirt. Godzilla shirt. And this is the movie Godzilla. Just came out legendary. You can see from the Godzilla up there. Um, I like this design, just looking at it real quick. You know, an explosion that becomes Godzilla as it goes up. I like that. Um, I was a big fan of this movie. I liked it a lot. Um, I'm excited to, to find out that there's a sequel coming. So um, the shirt itself is kind of one of those in-betweener shirts I talk about where it's not too thin, but it's also not heavy and thick, and uh, it's a nice lightweight shirt. Um, it looks like it'll stand up to a wash okay, so we'll see. That'll be kind of, uh, that's kind of always kind of up in the air with the shirts, um, but from what I see, I like it a lot. So good job on this shirt. This box was $50. Now, just looking at this box, this is a $50 box. Just looking at it, I can already hear the grumbling. I can already hear the $50 for that box. It wasn't even worth it. That box sucked. It didn't have this. It didn't have that. I can hear it already. But you know what? This is an all-exclusive, one-off box. It's a mystery box. It's not going to be everybody's favorite thing. You know, so far, I like the shirt. That's a great start. Add it up. Is it going to be worth 50 bucks? Maybe not. But you know what? To me, you can't put a price on exclusive items. Because I'm not going to be able to go on Amazon and price these, these out. The only way to price them is when they go up on eBay. Just to keep that in mind, if you want to get this box later, because you can now, um, it's limited, so you might not be able to get it by now, but it's a $50 box, but it's all exclusive. I don't have any expectations of it. I'm excited to get it, but I, I can hear the internet right now. So, uh, as we go along. All right, I see some figures. We'll start with... This one looks like two Ghostbusters figures. The first one is a little one from Titans. Um, I like the Titans vinyls. Um, I don't like them as much as pop figures, obviously, but um, I like the design. Um, I've never gotten one of these little mini ones before, so we'll see what that is. And it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's like 16 different um, options in here, and some of them are different rarities. Um, it looks like... Some of them might be glow-in-the-dark or something like that because they repeat. So, for instance, there's a Venkman mystery one over here to go along with the Venkman regular. So, um, there must be something metallic or glow-in-the-dark or something about it. So, let's see what we got in this one. All right, so this one 
is a Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Um, it's got a weird white look to it. If Unless I'm mistaken, this looks like a glow-in-the-dark figure, which would be one of the rare ones on here. So glow-in-the-dark, 1 out of 40. Uh, this, otherwise, it's 2 out of 20, but I don't think... This has that... It's hard to see on camera, but it, this has that um, kind of opaque look to it. Um, that you would see in a glow-in-the-dark figure. So, uh, regardless, this is a neat figure. I like it. I kind of like it better than the human-looking ones. Um, so, I like this figure. Good job. Next figure is the, the big figure, I guess you could call it. And it is a another Ghostbusters figure. It looks like he plopped out of his little container. It's a uh, stance. This is from Quantum Mechanics, is the company. Uh, and it's an exclusive vinyl to this... It's called a Q-Pop, exclusive vinyl to this box. So let's take him out. kind of like this figure. It it's, looks like a little kid. Actually, he's dragging a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man doll along with him as he's got a cigarette in his mouth as well. This is actually a really neat figure. I like this a lot. Um, this looks really cool. And it looks like it comes with little display accessories here. To begin with, a stand. So this is a stand. Uh, Kind of a cool stand he can uh, you can plug him into here, like so, and stand him up like that in a display. And then it's got a little sign here. It's like a thought bubble or a speech bubble and a dry erase marker. Ta-da! This one says cross the streams. I think this dry erase that it comes with is for you to write on this. On the uh, sign, on the uh, little speech bubble there, you can peel off the sticker and then write whatever you want on here. Because it looks like it, yeah, it looks like it peels off. Um, so you can write whatever you want, dry erase, and then erase it. I, I wouldn't do that. I like it the way it is. Um, but this is actually a, a pretty neat figure. I like it a lot. Um, again, can't really put a price on it as far as the box goes, but this will look good in in a display and. Uh, even in box, it would have looked good, but he was falling out a little bit, so that was a little bit. A couple points off for that, but um, that's a very cool figure. All right, next we have, it looks like a luggage tag. Also got a Loot Crate exclusive. All these items are exclusive, so um, they're all going to say Loot Crate exclusive. This is a luggage tag. Um, it's, it's a heavy rubber, um, you know, heavy, good quality luggage tag. Uh, it's got the Wayland yutani Corporation logo on there, Building Better Worlds. This is from Firefly. Cool enough luggage tag. I'm not a big Firefly fan. I know, I know, I know. You don't have to yell at me. Um, but I always thought Firefly was a bit overrated. But um, this is a decent luggage tag. Uh, it's got the little window for, for your information there. And it's pretty good quality. It's also by Quantum Mechanics, the same company that um, made the uh, Stance Ghostbusters figure. Something from Jurassic World, and this is a keychain. Oh, it's a raptor claw keychain. It's super heavy. Oh, that's very neat. I like that a lot. This is one of my favorite things from the first movie. This is a nice um, callback to Jurassic Park uh, with the raptor claw. And as a keychain, super duper heavy. It's another one of those keychains that you couldn't actually use as a keychain because it's way too heavy. It would mess your starter up in your car because there's just way too much weight to this. But it's got a lot of heft, uh, looks really good, it's brass, brass uh, look and feel, um, and it's a nice size, it's big. Uh, I like it, I like it a lot, um, so there you go. Alright, looks like a pack of cards of some sort. Loot Crate exclusive set of three oversized creature cards, so that goes along with the, with the theme. And this is by Cryptozoic in DC, so it looks like uh, these are going to be DC cards. Cryptozoic makes the DC uh, deck building games, uh, or at least one of them. Um, so let's check these out, see what they are. Okay, so they're oversized cards. They've got a kind of a uh, uh, almost hologrammy, shiny uh, artwork to them. Um, and they've got a back to it that has info on this particular creature. This one's Man Bat. So it's got man back at bat. You see it's kind of shiny, reflective um, card, oversized, and it tells a little bit about man bat on the back. Um, so good artwork there. Well, this one is Swamp Thing. 
You can see a little bit better if I hold it back towards the camera and then the back side of it as well. So Swamp Thing and lastly Clayface. So these are like the DC monsters. Uh, pretty nice cards. You know, normally I don't like to get packs of cards, but this isn't something like a card game or anything like that. It's just some, uh, some uh, thick cards with artwork on them, um, which are actually pretty cool. Looks like we've got a Loot Crate, let's get that out of the way, Loot Crate pin. And you, you know, normally Loot Crate gives the buttons slash pins with their crates, but this is kind of a fancy one. This one says SDCC 2015. Um, and it's, you know, it's got a little gold trim and it's heavy. It's a, more than the button, the normal plastic button that they give you, or the little tin button. This is actually a, a, a nice metal, a metal uh, pin. It does have a certificate of authenticity. Um, Every item in this creature crate is 100% exclusive and only available at Loot Crate San Diego Comic Con booth, which isn't true anymore because now they are available for order. Uh, you got yourself one of just 10,000 ever made. That's still true because I think they're still just the 10,000. They're just, they're basically getting rid of their extra ones, which I guess I'm okay with. You got to get rid of them somehow, right? If you didn't sell them all at the con. Um, so a nice little card there from Team Loot Crate. And lastly, a little book explaining what the items are. It looks like the uh, Ghostbusters Q-Pop, um, which is their Ghostbusters figures, one of four. So you could could have gotten any of the four original Ghostbusters. And I actually, I like all of these. You know, Loot Crate always has kind of special boxes. And this one, if you turn it inside out, it's got a monster on there. I'll do it later and see what it looks like. But you can see there's teeth on there and everything. So um, Loot Crate always does their boxes up a little bit differently than everybody else's. Pound for pound, item for item, is it worth $50? As I say in a lot of my reviews, it's worth the $50 to me. Am I going to be able to sell every one of these items for a grand total of $50? I don't know. I'm not going to sell them, right? It's, it's all exclusive items. The figures were cool. Very nice shirt. I like the cards. I like the pin, which is n not normal for me, but it's not a normal button. Um, you know, I like everything in the box a lot, and knowing that it can only come in this box makes it worth it to me. Some people are going to disagree with me. A lot of people are going to disagree with me and say, that box sucked. It didn't even have a pop in it. Not everything's going to have a pop figure in it. You know? I, I know that's what we want, but... Um, they're showing some ingenuity and a little bit of creativity and not just throwing a pop in there. They could have thrown a common dance pop in here if you want. If they wanted to go with Ghostbusters. But they wanted to do something exclusive that was exclusive to the box. So, um, And the thing about pops is we know all the exclusives already. They can't surprise us anymore. These things leak out all the time now. Nothing surprises us anymore. The last thing to surprise us in a loot crate um, was probably the um, the uh, the Batman Joker figure, but now we all know what's coming all the time. You know things leak all the time. So even if it had been a pop, it wouldn't have been an exclusive, or it would have been one that we already knew about. So what's the fun in that? Th this is a mystery box, and I enjoyed unboxing it and not uh, you know already knowing what was in it. So uh, take that for what you will. I'm not going to grade it. Uh, because it's a one-off, uh, but I really enjoyed it, and I liked unboxing that, and I think I thought I got some cool stuff. So now we're going to move on to the big boy. This is the Cosmic Loot Crate, 1765 out of 2,000. So only 2,000 of these made. As far as I know, these all went at the booth, so they're not going to be selling these uh, now. They're selling the Creature Box, but not this one. So... Uh, this one is cosmic, so I imagine some Star Wars stuff, that kind of stuff, but we are going to uh, open it up and check it out right now. This box, whew, this box was $100, okay? So, again, I know what you're thinking, $100, $150 for two boxes, this stuff doesn't come around all the time, you know? Um, worth it to me if I don't kill myself with my scissors, um, and heck, it might not be worth it to me once I open it up, I don't know yet, but... Um, I was more than willing to throw it out because I love this exclusive stuff and I love being able to... I mean, this was an investment in the channel because unboxing these um, exclusive loot crates uh, was is an exciting thing for me to do for 
you, my subscribers. So let's check it out. All right. Where do we start? Okay. I've got a coin. And this is a sign I'm getting old. I don't have my glasses, so I can't tell what it is. This is a coin from the Mirror Universe Star Trek. So it's got the uh, sword through the earth symbol of the Mirror Universe. Um, and on the back, it's got USS Enterprise with a skull and crossbow. So it's kind of a pirate coin from the Star Trek Mirror Universe. Wow, that's nice. It's solid, solid, you know, obviously it's not solid gold, but it's a really heavy, it's actually an actual coin. And that looks really cool. I like that a lot. That's a neat little thing. All right, so good start. Star Wars hat. Loot Crate exclusive, as all these will be. This is from just a, a bio world, I guess. So a Star Wars cap. Looks like a snapback cap. Uh, well, a lot going on in that hat. We'll see if this is a little bit busy for me, but you never know. I love hats, and I needed some new ones anyway. So we'll see um, how much I like this cap once I curve it. Uh, I'm not big into the, uh, into the flat bill look. So, uh, nice hat. Nothing wrong with it. I don't mind that at all. Especially since it's uh, an exclusive one. You can't go anywhere else. All right, the figure. This is the first one of these I've ever gotten. A uh, Stormtrooper Hikari figure. The Japanese vinyl. Uh, from uh, from Funko. So this is actually really nice. Uh, this is limited to 2,000 pieces. It's got the Comic-Con sticker on it. Um, it's got a, kind of a, uh, a glow-in-the-dark design. In fact, it is a glow-in-the-dark, um, as indicated by its glowing on the back. Um, pretty neat. And this is actually probably a pretty valuable figure um, as exclusives go so um, you know this will this will be nice so this is a one of those premium Funko figures uh, never mentioned the Hikaris but this is actually a nice one so this is this is the big boy of the box this is the one that uh, gets us up to the reason it was a hundred dollars is because of this Hikari wow first time I've gotten a uh, sweatshirt in a box this is a hoodie it's a really thick nice hoodie and it's Star Wars it's no it's uh it's alien. So that's the back. Alien floating out in space. And then the ship on the uh, breast there. Wow, this is super thick. And super heavy. Um, this is... This is probably a $60 shirt if you were to buy it at some specialty store. Maybe $40. But um, this is actually a, a really nice hoodie. Um, it's a zip-up hoodie. Yep. Um, so it's, this is one of your, this is not a cheap item. And that's pretty much it. So in this, in this cosmic crate, in the, the creature crate, we had some smaller items. The cosmic crate is pretty much mostly big stuff. So we've got the big hoodie. We've got the, the large premium Hikari figure, uh, the, the hat, um, and then also just like the other crate, we have a certificate of authenticity, same kind of thing, and then the book. Oh, and the pin too. So let's see if the pin is different. No, the pin's the same, same as in the other one. It's got it's SDCC 2015. So the the pin, the pin is the same. There was a chance at a chase item. Uh, chase item means basically something that um, is a one in you know 100 chance of getting it, whether we're talking about a pop or what have you. This, I didn't get it. And this was a Space Invader ballpoint pen, um, and it was only in 20 of the crates with, with, for a $45 value. So I did not get that that I see. So I did not get one of the lucky crates. Well, that's too bad. Um, but between all the other items, um, this is actually a really nice box. If you showed me these items, I probably wouldn't pay $100 for them. I wouldn't shell out $100, but $100 for the mystery box and the value of the items being what they are, um, 
Definitely a cool box. I liked it a lot. Expected more, but smaller items. I didn't expect two big items like that. And then uh, the hat and the coin. The coin is really neat. I like the coin a lot. Um, that's just a, a nice little, that's the only, uh, you know, small item in it. But um, again, it's, it's a nice collectible as well. Um, just like the creature crate, some people are going to be disappointed in this crate. They just are. It just happens. So um, I'm not. Um, I think it's, it was totally worth it. Um, I spent $150 for two exclusive crates with all exclusive items in them. Um, and that kind of stuff's valuable to me, more so than the, than the straight street value of the items individually. So super happy with these. I hope you enjoyed uh, the unboxing. Um, I was surprised by both the boxes, um, especially the Cosmic one, um, but I like them a lot. Uh, we've got uh, some more Comic-Con exclusive videos coming up. I didn't get a whole lot of exclusives at the con uh, because I was only there on Thursday, and that was pretty much the worst day to try to get into the Funko line, um, to try to get something at any of, the, any of the booths because that was the day that everybody was trying to get merch. Um, I, from what I understand, Friday and Saturday were better days, um, where they still had stuff available, but it was a little bit easier to get, um, everything that you wanted. I did not hardly get anything, to be honest. Um, uh, so, you know, I did get all of the Hot Topics and all of the Barnes & Noble, uh, items, so I'll be showing those to you as well. And I did get a couple of Comic-Con exclusives that I'll be talking about in a couple of videos while, before we do the, uh, get into the July boxes. So... As my niece is making a bunch of noise, I'm going to sign off, and uh, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.